Hello guys, this is Moses Cheraj. I'm explaining today's video. Let me check whether it is clear or not. I think so. I'll much zoom it. This is the reference of previous writing on the board. First thing. First statement, I am continuously updating the requirements, what do you have to do to run faster while I was learning. Right now I came from running, my best is personal best in 200 is 26 seconds. I was right now in transition period like recovering from the previous loss I made like unfit, becoming unfit after lockdown. Right now I came from like running 35, 38 to 30 seconds right now. I'll run best. I'll run the best in the future, whatever time may, now may be, whatever position now may be, but I'll run the best. But I was updating time by time the requirements while I'm learning a lot of new things, understanding a lot of new things, updating, giving much clear perspective of what to do in order to run faster so let's see first thing i believe in god and like i believe in jesus christ he created the whole universe that's what i believe you may call me he born in 2000 some years back ago how can you say he created the universe i believe the father and the son and the holy spirit is christ jesus christ is, is the sun form is, is, is incarnation in the flesh. I, I don't believe in evolutionism. I believe in creationist. I am a creationist. I believe in the creationism which was prescribed, which, which was told by the Bible. Uh, I inspired this from the doc, Dr. Kent Hovind from his creation seminar, much clear theory. First thing is Jesus Christ is the only creator who created all this universe. And the next thing, I will run the fastest race. Six seconds like a cheetah with 120 kph speed. Keep that in mind. With 120 kph speed. First thing I do this, I'll do this. <sighs> Much clearer speed, 120. Man, the fastest man that ran 200 is 19.19. That was Usain Bolt, he was 6'5". I'm 6 feet. Whatever it may be, I'll, I'll show you. First, I'll run like a cheetah with 6 seconds fast with 120 kilometers per hour. Then I'll, with fast twitch fiber, first thing, it will become my fast twitch. Then I'll run with 100 kph per hour like or 80 kph for maintain it like for like 10 k kilometers like, like the stamina of the prong on antelope. It runs faster, but with slow twitch. How can that slow? How can a slow twitch fiber run faster like that? It was easy to it. That's why it was running faster in the slow twitch with the slow twitch fibers. The same I will do. If you lift, let's take the high intensity and high speed is similar. Similar principles applied to weight weightlifting and. Uh, 
sprinting how the high intensity and high speed is similar like if you the same muscular concentric mu momentary muscular failure is applied in sprinting to to get the progress and the rest principles you have to take same i believe that first you have to run distances continuously not to increase the distance speed but it don't happen but what it does it does is it increases the aerobic capacity and, uh, and it enables you to get fit i ran 10 km i increased the distance from running 1.3 km to 10 km like within like 6 to 8 weeks within like i think 6 weeks but timing reducing timing takes a lot more time different types of workouts different types of training you need but the requirements you need in order to run faster i'll take another chalk the requirements to run faster first thing is relative strength hyperbaric conditions first thing is hyperbaric conditions hyperbaric hyperbaric conditions what is hyperbaric conditions what is the principle of hyperbaric conditions it was used by distance runners it was used by like sprinters it was used to recover from the basketball players they use hyperbaric like bags and uh, hyperbaric chambers to you uh, like heal the disease lot of diseases <sighs> the principle of hyperbaric conditions is like increase in atmosphere enable or if you increase the atmosphere pressure on the body it will increase the oxygen intake amount of oxygen intake that's why they use it to uh, distance runners use it to do hill training like altitude training what it does is it increases i think white blood cells what it does is the train on the altitude 2000 5000 elevation when they come back to sea level what it does is it enables them to take much more oxygen in return in what it does is it will it will allow the blood to much more plasma saturated it will be easier them to them to run distances with effortless and speed with effortless that's why do hill training once in a week and take three days rest and runs with high intensity or high speed high intense high speed next one is relative strength relative strength and speed strength a relative strength i learned it from the kino body gregor galiger from his the strength standards you have to lift heavier more than bo- your body weight in such key lifts in order to be better functional athlete and to look good so relative strength means lifting more than your body weight and producing much more forces help to run faster help to jump higher help to throw farther the relative strength is a key you can see the nearer chopra is to have much more relative strength he can jump better he lifts heavier and he used to have long ranges of motion which he do by so like on the flat bench he used to do like stretch with the weights barbell and which he used to stretch his lats in order to throw farther and he for that that is stretch shortening cycle or long ranges of stretching with strength 
I'll explain that in the fourth requirement. Relative strength is lifting over your body weight. Recently, I am learning about power. Power is the exerting force much quickly. That is power, explosive power. Speed strength. I will give you the reference from in his media PDFs. He explained about the scientific approach to run 200 meters by Clyde Hart. If you run 10, run 30. If you run 8, run 28 of of 200 meters with 2 minutes recovery. If you run 6, do 26. How can, if you can able to run 20 seconds or 19 seconds, you can able to do that. If not, you can't able to run that much faster. You have to run slower than that, like with much time. Gradually, you will progress and progress. You will achieve that time and best, better times than that. And like third one is high intensity and high speed. Bama Elba matter. And high speed. Did I wrote it? No. You have to try and intensively in order to with maximum with maximum effort, high intensity. Intensely you have to try and, and you have to give rest. To get the progress, you have to compensate and super compensate in order to get progress. You have to build a mountain of on the top of the hole. So you, what you have to do, you have to try and intensively, like Arthur Jones said, like Mike Manzer said, with high speed. I say I am saying you because you have to try and with function. You have to lifting only lifting never allow you to run faster, but. The function is key, key plays a key role in developing certain function. If you want to run faster, you have to run. If you want to swim faster, you have to swim. Cycling or running never improve your swimming performance. And swimming and cycling never improve your running performance. Maybe they will help uh, some amount, but not completely. They won't completely allow you to run faster. So, if you want to run faster try and with the same function if you want to do certain thing try and with that same thing same function but if you want to increase the speed quickness try and with high speed in order to run faster and uh, keep give some reps and like if you can able to right now i can able to run like 30 seconds so running like I did like previously, I was tired, I was working, I was bankrupt, my home was bankrupt, all of us working, my brother, my mother, my father, all of us working to cure the situation, financial conditions. So I was tired, but if you run 30 seconds for one rep, it will be easier, I think, running three reps of 35 seconds or 36 seconds and uh, with Two minutes rest, two minutes rest or less than that is much important. Don't take a lot of intervals, takes a little bit less intervals. High intensity when you try in with weights, try in with high intensity. I I understood like it's better to try in with machines, much more muscle activation and safer while going much weights rather than going barbell. Barbell and dumbbell is better. but safety machines will much more safer and will allow you to progress safely and the fourth one is long range motions long range of motion when from the beginning i used to think that yoga is not our religion so i don't have to train it it's not but later I realized when I went to like Srinivas, my my friend and brother from my senior in school, five years senior. He used to taught me, he's a yoga instructor, he's the best one. He's inspiration for me to learn bodyweight training like swimming. 
he is like a good man he taught me like to increase the flexibility to for the splits i went went to him and asked me i want to do splits leg splits not to increase the range of motion he did his training is literally very well i learned from him almost i i went to almost i touched the ground with the splits he increased a much range of motion after increasing the static flexibility i recommend you to increase train the that flexibility range range of motion dynamically like rather than if you do half squat go to deep squat if you can able to do deep squat right now people stop at their people stop go to cc squat and like touching almost whole ground and for do squ- i'm right now doing cc squats with sound point for akg weight and doing atg split squat doing atg split squat and coming back again try and like that it will be much more helpful and allow you to and stretch your lat for throwing for other muscles mainly throwers stretch your lats to me it allow uh, 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 a long range of soft strength stretching allows you to run faster allows you, you to use the full ranges of motion for using full ranges of motion allow you to give you time to relax and I, and most of the art of jones knotless machines used to help to increase the much flexibility his his knotless pullover they were great machines man if i have money if i have chance definitely i will in, invest in the knotless i think knotless wa- wasn't there anymore but if i found them definitely i, I will use them because all the jones machines were the greatest revolutionary machines in the world. sport of like strength training even though even though he built that for bodybuilding it was revolutionary for every sport because every sport required mainly strength training so these were the four requirements the newly updated requirements to run faster hyperbaric condition relate to strength and speed strength high intensity high speed long range of motion long range strength and flexibility i want to show you see guys you you see first thing learn the splits i can't able to do much much splits right now i'm not in a warm up but man first learn the splits middle and side splits after that after once you achieved that never try and with half range of motion while doing this in the strength do the atg split squat deep stretch by grabbing the dumbbells here or here then go back and with other leg and then mm, after that i want to tell you something uh i put the board down it may fall and then do the cc squat like this almost bringing your buttocks to the touching the ground lying on the ground what the what does what that does is allow you to use the full ranges of motion that body is capable and i'll run like cheetah i want to rub it again I'm going to run like Sita first. The short distance and 120 kbh per hour. 
and it's like lifting a 200 kg bench press. I am giving an example, not exactly lifting 200 kg bench press, but I am explaining with with the in the terms of strength in the in the bodybuilding or in the strength training. If you lift 200 kg first time, it it was hard to you bench press. But what it allows you is it was easier for you to do 150 kg doing one rep you did one rep in 200 kg what it does is it allows you to do like, like 10 reps or maybe 20 reps I don't know it was easier to do bench press of 10, 10 to 20 reps of this of the less weight the same applied to the running speed if the fast twitch fibers of the muscles can able to produce 120 kbh and the slow twitch and the same muscles have much endurance you can able to run with 80 kbh or with, with more than if you can able to run 200 meters with 122 kbh speed then you can able to do 80 kph speed but by much longer distance maybe 800 or, th or 1500 meters or maybe 2k uh, maybe similarly like that you can able to run much distances by reducing the speed like how you can you can able to sprint faster but with m less time if you run slower jog it will be much you can able to run much farther if you if you are a sprinter like if you can able to uh, sprint less time but with much speed by reducing uh, some amount of speed you can able to cover middle distances with be better time but with less speed than the sprint the same applied to it first like first i will run like cheetah Next, I maintain the stamina. Like prong horn antelope. That's my assumption. That's my hypothesis, and that's my theory. Let's see until we produce we produce results whatever three may be what how much wisely it may look if it won't work then the theory is false if it works then i'm going in the right direction i learned in from from failures like these hypotheses works or not like theory and assumptions works or not i all learn this from the failures for while testing the way to uh, grow taller I lost. I, I no no. I'm not lost. I I failed to find a way, but I, in future I will find a way to grow taller. But the failure attempts to grow taller allow me to use this principle scientific go to go with scientific approach to learn about things like experiment hypothesis experimentation and conclusion. This was the scientific approach while well, going to find something else. This is, this is my hypothesis. Last hypothesis while I kept for like distance running hasn't worked. But that doesn't mean it never made me any good. It gave me the endurance. It gave me the aerobic capacity. Even though the principle doesn't give me much exact results what I searched but I'm going in the right right way same goal I was following the same goal I, I will do that man my god is the creator of the antelope he created cheetah everything is in his hands the one who helped Moses 
to have the victorious victory over Egypt and in the desert is my God. And that same God is with me. The same God with Moses and jo Joshua is with, me, with this Moses Jairaj. And I am that Moses who stood alone against an empire and destroyed it like it's nothing. Because the spirit of Moses is upon me. Okay guys, see you. This is Moses Jairaj. Bye guys. Definitely one day I'll achieve. Every The world will see that this guy got the help from the God. And you will follow the same God who helped me. It's if I, if I, with my own wisdom, if I said to the world, I will get tried. <coughs> but if God is the teacher, if I give his, his credit, the world will learn and the world will develop. And the blessing of the Lord will share it to all the world. That is my main dream. If I, if I bless, if I got the blessing, that blessing has to be Share to the people. If not, that is in their blessing. My own personal success is in the success to me. My success has to bless the whole nation and the whole world. That is my blessing. That is the blessing I ask for the, from the Lord. What He will give is He will give the, you the wisdom to develop the people. That was the great thing. Ask like that from the God. Okay, guys. See you guys. Meet you in the next video.